What's up? This is Drew again. It's been a while since I uh, <laughs> continued this series. Uh, things just got kind of hectic. I actually did it ahead of time, and uh, I don't know what I did with them. Uh, finished them off. Uh, I'll just redo this here. I hope uh, I'll keep up to speed here. I believe this is part six. What I'm going to do is uh, show you how to get this gray out of this image. Just one of the ways. There's 20 some different ways. It's it's a, a lot of different methods, but uh, I'll try to keep this consistent with this set of tutorials and then uh, with the next set uh, I'll show you a different way. So hopefully as we build on I can show you all 20 different ways and you'll be able to pick and choose and refine and be a set pro here. Uh, basically this is pretty straightforward. Uh, what we want to do is we got the gray left to pull out of here and the orange uh, to get our, our final uh, in our DCS. This kind of looks looking close, but it still looks pretty garbage. <laughs> Uh, so what we're going to do to get a gray, it's pretty simple, uh, what we're going to go is flatten this. We're going to do a method uh, pretty much the same way as, as we've been going uh, with the CS4, CS3, Photoshop. Assuming you're, you're pretty advanced and you you know where all these, these tools are. Uh, basically, flatten the image, discard anything that's hidden, that's fine. You want to go to your image adjustments bleh, adjustments, and then uh, you want to go with your black and white. This is newer in the, the newer photoshops. And basically from there you're just going to want to zero these out. Uh, pretty sure with the highlight white what I did was go all the way, pull them all the way back down to the negatives, which which you can do here. It'll, it'll be a little tedious, a uh, little kind of the same result. Uh, this is just going to leave you with a little more subtle information and uh, you'll see what I mean once I once I do this uh, basically you go OK, you're going to go into grayscale again image mode grayscale uh, and you can actually see it looks like a pretty decent gray with uh, lots of highlight white that you're going to want to knock out of there with uh, your existing highlight white so you'll basically take this do a select all, uh, copy it Command C, Control C, and uh, just wait for that in for a second here, because uh, you're going to want to invert this to match it with your your DCS file, and you're going to see how it's going to lose a lot of the info. It just seemed way darker on the black. Not to worry, it's all still there. Um, basically, what you got to do now is do a double curve, uh, curve it twice, just to bring it back. And uh, you don't want to do it too drastically. You could just crank it up, but it's a lot easier just to do it two times here. Pretty much just a simple curve like that. Gradual enough so it doesn't look too harsh once you're done. Do it once, then do it twice here. It's usually Command M, Control M on the PC. But uh, for some reason with the recording software, that shortcut's uh, overridden. So basically you're going to look and make sure you got these subtle things on the flames, if you remember what it what it looked like. Uh, I guess sapping is kind of a tool. You're gonna need a good memory, otherwise you always keep one up on the side here. You can reference. But I pretty much knew what I wanted it to look like. It's pretty straightforward for the for the gray. On top of that, we're gonna now paste the the highlight white we copied from this one right on top of it. Command V, Control V. It's just this information here. We're gonna invert it and then change this to screen just to screen it out. It's gone. Maybe if we want to be extra safe, if you think maybe your printer has a heavy squeegee or likes to throw down the ink, you might want to double knock it twice or if you're going to use a darker a darker gray like a PMS 432 or something. Just a, it's all a matter of preference. Uh, really helps if you if you know a little about the, the printing procedures. Um, just uh, select all these then merge them together, Command E, Control E, and then you're going to want to do curves one more time just to get get out this black. Um, I guess I suppose there's a couple couple ways you can do it. I usually prefer just doing the curve since it's it's easier right here. Just so you take your white eyedropper, go to the part you know that is black, and crank it out. Um, if you don't want to do that, you can also do the same thing you did with the highlight white. Go with your black Command A, select all, copy it, go over here, paste it right on top, screen it, and then invert it. 
and basically what that does it'll take out the all the blacks out of there that you know are definitely going to be your darkest areas um, once you do that maybe turn it down a notch so you can get a little bit of a uh, blending between the gray that's a matter of preference otherwise just merge it down now you got your your one gray here command all cut it out don't really need this anymore go to your DCS add a new layer paste it in there move it where you want I usually do gray second change it to a spot color and then uh, pick your gray usually do a 431 just for screen purposes it'll look the nicest and there you have it there is your gray if you want to go back and uh, revert your original here you can do a quick comparison looks pretty good we don't really have the black shirt yet you can always just throw up an, a new layer and move it to the to the bottom to do a preview turn them all on getting close one more in orange and uh, should be good to go and be able to set it up in uh, Illustrator and I'll show you how to output it. We'll do orange next. Later.